maximum strength. What's going on guys, PowerGPU here. Today I'm gonna actually be doing a quick video on Nvidia's new Pascal video cards that are coming out here in the next few months. We don't have an exact date yet, but we know they're coming soon. The reason why I wanted to do this video is to get your guys' opinion and see what you guys think of what NVIDIA is about to do. And hopefully we see an AMD come out with something extraordinary as well this year. Um, this year is going to be very exciting just because it's going to be one of those revolutionary times where video cards jump up in performance by quite a bit. And finally this time, this year, we hopefully we get enough VRAM and not be gypped out as well like we did before in the past. Uh, so as far as what I want to go over is the leak specs that have come out now This is not hundred percent accurate. Of course. This is all taken with a grain of salt <clears throat> There's been some uh, leaks as far as the senior editor uh, Referred to as the GTX 1080 Ti uh, Will feature a cut down version of a GP uh, 100 which is roughly around 5120 CUDA cores um, texture mapping units is 192 uh, rendering out output uh, units and features a base clock of 1025 megahertz for a total of 12.595 teraflops now again this is leak specs this is not 100 percent accurate <clears throat> uh, and then lastly they're talking about the uh, gp100 base gtx titan uh, they're saying that will feature 6144 cuda cores 384 texture mapping units and 192 rendering output uh, units and feature base clock of 1025 for a total of 12.595 teraflops as well so those are the ti and the titan now the the i guess the entry level version like the 980 uh that one is going to feature roughly around 4000 96 cuda cores with 12 uh 256 texture uh mapping units 128 render output units and a thousand megahertz base clock uh totaling for 8.192 teraflops so <clears throat> if these specs are right, that they're going to be powerful cards uh, regardless. Uh, if you own currently a GTX 980 Ti uh, like I do, um, your best thing to do is sell it before they come out. I mean, uh, about a month before they come out. <coughs> Excuse me. Just because if you sell it when the other cards come out, then it's going to be very difficult to sell. And on top of that, you're going to lose a lot of value. So make sure you sell it before they come out, about a month or two in advance, uh, which kind of sucks because you're going to have to play with something a lot less uh, powerful or not play at all. But um, the other thing too is you could take advantage as well and buy another Nanity Ti and do SLI, which is up to you. But again, the problem is nowadays these games are using up so much VRAM that depending on the resolution you run, 6 gigs is not going to cut it pretty soon. Which is really crazy to say, but that's the way it's going. The other thing too I wanted to talk, talk to you guys about was, so the X80 and the X80 Ti, as far as rumors go, are going to be using GDDR5 X memory. Um, the only one that's going to be using HBM2 is going to be the X80 T, uh, Titan. Again, that's, that's all rumors. Um, supposedly it's going to have HBM2, uh, which the memory bit interface is going to be 4096, is what they're saying, which is going to be four times the uh, X80 Ti, which is going to be at 512, and then the X80 at 384. So, if these, if they're accurate, it's going to, to me, actually, I prefer it this way, because right now with the GTX um, 980 Ti and the GTX Titan X, their performance is identical almost. The only difference is you're getting half the VRAM. Which again, a lot of people don't need 12 gigs of VRAM at this moment. But like I said before, they're gonna VRAM's gonna start being used quite a bit. So my thing is, if they do it this time, where the Titan <clears throat> is a lot more powerful, uh, then at least it's worth the extra money. Right now, currently, the Titan X is to me is not worth the extra money. So there's really no point to that. But this is what I really wanted to go over to make sure that you guys understand that they're as far as these specs that have been coming out, they're becoming more legit. But again, it's not 100% true. So we're going to have to wait and see when NVIDIA f officially reveals them in the next month or so. I think it's somewhere around that. I think it's going to be about a month or two. But that was pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to go over the, the specifications with you guys and what has been leaking out recently. Um, if you guys have any questions or if you guys want to leave some comments, leave them at the bottom. Make sure to like the video. 
uh, hit that subscribe button if you want some more content. The other thing too is make sure to uh, follow me on Twitch as well. My wife and I goof off on there and we stream uh, games here and there. Um, and make sure to go to Facebook as well uh, and join the Furious PC Gaming community. Great community as well. You can go to FuriousPCGaming.com. And that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, have a great day. Power GP signing out. See you guys in the next one.